One of the things we never cease to be amazed at is the organization of biofilms, how after a period of time of un being undisturbed, they form these phenomenal, uh, interesting uh, structures in here. It's all organized together and carefully uh, and growing underneath things. Down here at the bottom of the slide, we have a we have amoebas. This amoeba is growing and it's moving around in here. It's a strange looking structure. You see it sort of oozing around. Um, sliding in amongst the various spirochetes. Down again over in this area. We just, we get to see. Uh, this, these slides get to be quite entertaining. And you begin to wonder how on earth. Um, here's a dead uh, PMN up here at the top. Polymorphonuclear leukocyte. Uh, just an empty vacuole cell now. Probably inside of her bacteria. We see that dead cells. There's uh, squamous cells around in this slide. Lots of squamous cells coming through. Here's a big, huge, ugly amoeba right here. They're kind of, they have a kind of a unique appearance. They're all just sort of gray. And uh, Again, these, these are the things you see in, in people who just haven't touched this area with a toothbrush forever and ever. This is probably, this guy hasn't touched this this area with a toothbrush for at least uh, probably four or five months. Again, amoebas show up, squamous cells, tons of plaque, which we think of as trees, bushes, uh, plants, and then here's a whole bunch of dead uh, white blood cells. And inside those cells are bacteria that have gotten in there and kill them. And now you just have a dead cell. And of course we have spinning around in here and making everything quite entertaining are all these spirochetes which provide quite entertaining motion in here in this slide. Again over here vast numbers of what was pus. Now these are just cells, dead polymorphonuclear leukocytes and of course you can see inside of them that there's there are bacteria in there swarming around inside these cells at times and they just eat up everything in there. Here we have spirochetes in this one. And so, yeah. Pus. Pus coming out to fight the battle. Here's another bunch of pus. Uh, dead polymorphonuclear leukocytes. As we focus up and down, they become kind of apparent. And of course, inside these old dead cells are all kinds of things. And there's no shortage of spirochetes. You can see the movement here. These are a smaller variety in this area. body. Here's a highly organized structure. Again, very, very organized. Here we go. Here we go. More organization. Let's go up here at this area here. And boy, we, do we have... Look at the organization in this area. How can, how can these bacteria organize themselves into these very, very uh, intricate structures? And at the same time, be swarming with spirochetes, as you can see. This is all, all the movement in here that causes this flowing behavior is actually spirochetes organized together. Looks almost like there's a stream flowing, but it's just spirochetes spinning together. Here's some more down here. Again, spirochetes spinning at the same time it makes it look like there's water flowing. So if we were to focus up and down through them, you get to see, actually see the spirochetes but in there. But when together, they all just look like there's flowing. And you know, over here, it's like a, almost like a, fl a fire in here. Because these guys... I think that uh, these kinds of experiences begin to, as you begin to look at this stuff, you begin to realize how tremendously, what a tremendous, uh, highly organized, highly, highly developed structural things these here piles of plaque are. Some of these things are just, look at around this, look at around these cells here, okay? Here you have, here you have tons of spirochetes in here, almost just attacking the cells in this area. 
there's no shortage of spirochetes. So some of you out there think it's hard to diagnose. Well, uh, it isn't. 